What's up guys, I'm BTC. Welcome back to the Respawn special episode 100. I took a little bit of a break. I had been doing the series for over a year and I just wanted to have a little bit of downtime, but now we're bringing it back and how it works if you're unfamiliar is every week I'm going to be posting a question card on the community section of my YouTube channel and there you can leave your questions for the following week's respawn. I pick a bunch of them that are the best and then they'll be put into the video for the following week. Also want to let you guys know that Blizzard sent over a bunch of Summer Games loot box codes that I'm going to be giving away. The details for how that's going to work will be at the end of the video. Because this is the special 100th episode of the Respawn series, these questions today are going to be some of the most commonly asked questions that I've ever gotten, and some will be a little more about me as opposed to Overwatch. So let's begin. First question, why do you use the name Blame the Controller if you only play on PC? It's true, I don't own any consoles. The last one I had was the original Xbox and I got it because I wanted to play Halo and Halo 2. But since then, I've been exclusively playing games on PC. But when I was growing up, I had a bunch of different gaming consoles. I started with the Intellivision and then the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis and the Sony PlayStation and the N64 and a bunch of different stuff. And I wanted to have an old school gaming name for my YouTube channel. And when I created it a bunch of years ago, I took a whole bunch of names and I put them in a hat and I picked one out and it happened to be Blame the Controller. And I liked it because it fit really well with the old school gaming theme and just what people would do when they lose in a game on a console. They would complain that they had pressed the button but it didn't work or they were moving in the opposite direction and they would quite literally blame the controller for why they ended up losing the match. And I just thought that was a pretty appropriate thing. So even though I don't play on consoles anymore, that's still the name that I go with. What did you do before YouTube? I was in the army for eight years. I was a 25 Bravo, which is an information systems operator analyst, which is a very fancy way of saying a computer guy. And I worked on networks and servers and all that sort of stuff. And I did that for eight years. And then when I got out, I went to college for a little bit and I ended up starting the YouTube channel and then it just kind of went from there. Here's an Overwatch related question. Why do you use numbers for abilities? People have been asking me this ever since I started making Overwatch videos. If you look at my abilities, you can see that it's set to one, two, and then the ultimate is three. People ask, isn't that difficult or awkward to press those keys when you're playing? But the answer is no, because I don't use a keyboard. Funny enough, this kind of goes along with the blame the controller thing. I don't use the keyboard, I use a gamepad. The most current one that I'm using is called a Tartarus, and this is an image of it right here. It's kind of like a chunk of a keyboard, but it's a little more comfortable. And the thing is, you can remap all of the different keys. So you're still using a WASD type setup, but it's more comfortable to use. And I've been using some variation of this gamepad ever since I came home from deployment in 2005. And I originally was using it for World of Warcraft, and I had a whole bunch of different keys set up for one, two, three, four, all the way up for the numbers, because that's the abilities and the different spells and stuff that you would use in World of Warcraft. Well, ever since then, I've pretty much just been using the same key map setup ever since. So that's the big mystery. It's not like I'm trying to press any of the keys in the number row. I'm still using essentially the same key locations. It's just been remapped to numbers because that's what I was originally using with World of Warcraft. Why do you make hero concepts, map reworks, and other projects if Blizzard is never going to use them? Because it's fun. I don't care if Blizzard never uses it. I know they're never going to use any of the stuff that I come up with. That's fine. I like making this stuff. I think it's fun. It's enjoyable. I like the creativity involved. I like the challenge of trying to take one of the maps like Paris and reworking it. And that is just a whole nother project because not only am I trying to rework an Overwatch map, but I have to recreate it in another program that's not specifically designed to make Overwatch maps. For the Hero Concepts, it allows me to be really creative and come up with some pretty cool ideas. It doesn't matter that Blizzard's never going to use it. One of the things, for example, is how to make a tank protect your team without using barriers because that's obviously a big problem in the game. Barriers are too strong and they're just kind of a, a, a big issue and Blizzard is having a little bit of a difficult time figuring out what exactly to do with that whole situation. So I like coming up with character concepts and tanks that can protect their team using different methods that don't even need a barrier. That sort of stuff is fun. So I don't care that Blizzard is never going to use any of that stuff. That's not why I'm making it. 
And that sort of leads into the next question. What else am I doing? And the answer is a ton of stuff. I've got so much going on right now besides just the Overwatch channel. Many of you know I have a second YouTube channel now called Clip Coin, where I go over, review, and break down TV shows, movies, and other pop culture. It's a lot of fun. It's something quite a bit different from what you find on this channel, but people that have been going over there and checking it out a lot have been enjoying it, so if you haven't checked it out, feel free to go and check it out. There's a link down below. But in addition to that, I've also been writing quite a bit, which is kind of where the hero concept thing comes in, because that allows me to make kind of like short stories and come up with backstory for characters and that sort of thing. And I've been writing my own short stories completely unrelated to Overwatch or gaming or any of that sort of stuff. And some of the stories are either Grim Dark, which is kind of like Game of Thrones sort of stuff, right? It's fantasy, but it's a little bit darker and then a little more grittier, a little more realistic. And then I've also been working on some Lovecraft stuff and just some other short stories that I think are pretty cool. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I've been working on. I have no idea when I would publish or release any of that stuff. But right now I'm trying to work on the Overwatch channel and the other channel, Clipcoin, and then just kind of writing a lot of stuff in the background while I'm doing all that. So I am constantly, constantly busy. Next question, when are you doing a face reveal? Probably around five years ago or so? I don't know. If you go to my Instagram account, you can see pictures of me. Most recently, I've been posting cat pictures and Overwatch memes and stuff, but if you scroll down a little bit, you will find pictures of me. They're a little bit older, but I promise you, my face has not changed. It's still the same face. Not to mention that my Instagram is one of the places where I'm going to be giving away the Summer Game loot box code, so now you have two reasons to head over there. The link for my Instagram is down below. Next question, who is your main character? I don't have one. I play a whole bunch of different stuff. For a while, before we had the roll queue system, I would play tank one season, and then healer the next season, and DPS the next season, and just kind of switch it all around. It didn't really matter to me. I don't have any favorite characters, which is why when I talk about balancing different heroes, I'm completely neutral. Like, I don't have a favorite character. I don't have mains or anything like that. I want all the characters to be balanced. I don't play favorites. I don't have certain heroes that I want to be better or worse than others. None of that stuff. I just, I don't have a, any main character. I just play whatever. Do you work for Blizzard? No. I am not a Blizzard employee in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Sometimes they send me stuff like they did with these codes, but other than that, I don't work for Blizzard. If I did, the game would be better balanced. Why did you make the Respawn series? Because there are a lot of topics that just aren't big enough for their own standalone video, but people still want to know about them. So I thought it would be a good idea to get questions from you guys, combine them all into a video, and then post it once a week. So we still get to talk about those smaller topics, but in a way that is a lot more efficient. Why do you use Quick Play for background video? Because it's a lot faster and easier to get quick play footage than it is to get competitive footage. If I'm making a video about a particular hero, then I can just jump into quick play, grab a bunch of footage, and then I can use that. Also, there's another thing where if I'm talking about a character like Torbjorn or Symmetra, or maybe a hero that I'm not particularly good with, like Widow or maybe Genji, then I don't want to go into a competitive match and play those heroes that I'm not particularly good with and then end up ruining the match for everyone else. If it's a competitive match, then that's just not a good idea. If it's a quick play and I'm not really playing well, it doesn't really matter all that much, right? So it's just better for me, it's easier, it's efficient in order to get the quick play footage and I don't have to worry about ruining someone else's competitive match with a hero that probably isn't very good or that I'm not good at. That's going to be all of them for this week. Right now, there is a brand new question card on the community tab of my YouTube channel. If you have a question for next week that you'd like to see in the respawn, go and leave your question there. And now for the Summer Games loot box codes. I got sent these by Blizzard, so thanks again to them. These codes are PC only. They will provide Summer Games loot box codes, and they expire on August 25th. Here's how it's going to work. I got a whole bunch of codes. Some of them will give five loot boxes, and one of them will give 24 loot boxes. So what I'm going to do is over the next week on my Instagram account, I'm just going to randomly post some codes that will give you five loot boxes. And it's going to be first come, first serve. Whoever grabs the code first gets to redeem it. 
on my Discord server, I'm going to have a more structured giveaway for the code that will have 24 loot boxes. And all of the rules and all that stuff will be on the Discord server, so you can go and check that out and enter into that. So if you want to participate in any of that sort of stuff, or you just want to check out my Instagram, or join my Discord, or check out my second channel, all the links for that stuff will be down below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to be commenter of the video, then leave yours, and while you're at it, ring the bell so you never miss a new video. Also, if you want to get some cool gear, join my Discord server, or follow me on social media, then check out the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.